Hello, my name's Chris. Um, this is my YouTube channel, Interactive CAD, and today we're going to be looking at Autodesk Navisworks Freedom. So this is a free viewer from Autodesk, um, and it comes in handy for viewing CAD models. And I know a lot of people that don't have previous CAD experience tend to use this, so I thought I'd just go over a few basics. Um, so I'm going to open up a snowmobile model. So this is a preview model that comes with the software so if you want to practice what i'm doing in this video um, if you're going to program files this um, snowmobile model should be there um, so to view the model um, the best way to navigate it is you've got two options you can either you go on viewpoint and you have your navigate section here where you've got your orbit pan and zoom tools to move the model 3d model about I can pan and also zoom. Another easy way of, in Navisworks of moving the model about is using the view cube. So if I click left there, it shows me the left hand side view of the model, front, right, top, and then also you can rotate it using these little arrows here and rotate it around. So they're just some of the basic ways to move your model about. Um, another good thing is if you ever get lost in a model and you haven't got a clue where you are, um, you can press this little home here and it'll send you back to the original view. Um, so breaking down this model that you've got, if you click home, you've got select and search. So you've got your selection tools here. So you can select using a box or just clicking. Um, you can select all, invert your selections, select none. So that just gets rid of what you've selected. Um, go back to select. Um, selection tree breaks down your model depending on how it's been modeled in the software. It breaks it down into little sections. So for example, if I wanted to look at this weldment chassis on its own, I've just highlighted it in the selection tree and then you go hide unselected and then it gets rid of everything that you actually don't want and it's just got what I wanted to view. You can then obviously view what you need to view and then unhide all just undoes it and then you're back to normal. Same again if you unhide all and you don't know where you are and you're just somewhere randomly in the model, you can click the little home and you'll go back to it. Another good feature is if you go to viewpoint again, is sectioning. So if I click enable sectioning, um, it's just put a section using the top plane through the model. So you can move that. If I just click move, it comes up with these arrows and you can move the, sec the plate section plane up and down. So the section plane is blue and the background's blue. So I'm just going to change the background color to make it a bit clearer. So now you should be able to see the section plane a lot better there. So another thing I'll just show you, if you want to change the section plane, you can change the alignment of the plane. So the alignment of the plane corresponds to this view cube. So if I wanted to look left, that will go to the left hand side of the view cube. So there we go, it's aligned with the left and now I can move it in and out, up and down, wherever I want it to. Like so. So to get rid of that, you just um, untick enable sectioning and it goes back to normal. So another good feature uh, with Navisworks is the review tool so you can actually measure things this measuring is not 100% accurate but it gives you a good idea of size and perspective of what you're looking at so for example if I wanted to measure the, the entire length of this snowmobile click that so now as you can see it's not a direct straight line measurement that 2.5 meters but the 2.577 is the z-axis measurement and that's what I tend to go for when I'm measuring stuff in Navisworks it tends to be the actual axis measurement not the point to point what I've clicked 
So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, if you've got any questions, don't leave a, leave a comment or subscribe to my channel. Um, There's going to be plenty more videos to come on multiple softwares. So if you've got any suggestions, please just drop me an email. Um, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.